Thanks for joining us today at Island Ford Superstore, located on Norcross Road just off the Trans-Canada Highway in Duncan, BC, in the Cowichan Valley on Vancouver Island. Today we're looking at a 2014 Explorer Sport in tuxedo black. With a black leather interior and seating for seven, this four-door SUV has a 3.5-liter V6 all-wheel drive EcoBoost engine. It's easy to get into this vehicle. Just talk to our sales team. They'll be happy to take you out on a test drive. Storage cup holder and speak from the door as well as powered locks, windows, and mirrors. Your side view mirrors can power fold and there's memory settings for three separate drivers. Driver also enjoys a powered seat with lumbar support. Off to the side there are your lighting controls and your dash lights as well as your power trunk and tow haul which we've shown up above on the dash. You also have power pedals and your steering wheel can power tilt and telescope. On the face of your steering wheel, you have dash controls, adaptive cruise controls, sync voice activated system, and media controls with volume. As well as on both left and right hand sides, you have paddle shifters. This is a push start, so foot on the brake key in the pocket, and press the start button. Up above the dash is where you'll see any important messages. There's also two menus you can toggle through. On the left hand side there, display mode, trip one and two, fuel economy, driver assist, settings, and these all have submenus. Off to the right hand side there, entertainment, navigation, phone, and these all have submenus and notice how they change color. Off to the side there is your four quadrant LED touchscreen media display center. In the top right you have navigation, in the top left is trying to connect to my phone, bottom right hand side you have dual climate control with heated and cooled seats for both driver and passenger, and then in the bottom left hand side is entertainment. You have AM, FM, Sirius Satellite Radio, CD, USB, Bluetooth, and AV line in. It's also where you'll see your rear backup camera view when going in reverse. Hazard lights and CD player with your volume and tuner. Below that you have dual climate control with AC and max AC as well as front and rear defrost. Little storage bin below there with auxiliary line in, SD card, USB, and a 12 volt outlet. Automatic shifter couple of cup holders and this is also where you'll see your ambient lighting. Just here you have drive mode, give that a twist, it'll be shown up above on the dash. Mud and rut, sand mode, snow, gravel, grass, and background again to normal. Just in the center of that dial is hill descent. And in your armrest, there's a clip on the end there, plenty of room in there as well as a 12 volt outlet. Off to the sides, your locking glove compartment. Up above, auto dimming, rear view mirror, sunglasses holder, universal garage door opener, lighting controls, and when you're ready to open up that sunroof, simply click to let in some light and air. 20 inch wheels, chrome door handles with intelligent access, keyless entry keypad. Your back hatch has a spoiler as well as a rear windshield wiper. Just below that Explorer badge is your backup camera. On the bumper you have sensors, you also have dual exhaust, a 4 and 7 pin connector, and a trailer tow hitch. When you're ready to open up that hatch, you can do so from the inside. You can use the handle or you can double click your key fob. And it will power open for you. From there you'll notice the inside is nice and roomy and also carpeted. The third row folds down in a 50-50 split with a three-point pulley system, which I've already done, to show you how it looks. On the right-hand side there, there's a speaker, and on the left-hand side is some lighting and a 12-volt outlet, as well as on both left and right-hand sides, there's pulleys and anchors to hold things down. When you're ready to close up that hatch, you can double-click your key fob again, you can use the handle on the right-hand side there, or you can click the button on the left, and it will chime to let you know that it's closing securely. You can then lock it up and walk away, or head out on your latest adventure. Your key fob also has remote start. Storage cup holder and speaker in the door as well as powered windows. The second row has seating for three in a 60-40 split. When you're ready to access that third row, there's a pulley on the side of the seat there. Simply pull that up to fold the seat down for access into the third row with seating for two in a 50-50 split. At the base of the seat are anchors for baby seats. The third row has three-point seat belts as well as storage and cup holder just there and up above some speakers as well as lighting and vents. When you're ready to put that second row seat back up in its original position, simply take your hand underneath the seat and push up until the seat clicks back up in its original position. At the base of the seat are anchors for baby seats. 
In the center, an armrest with a couple of cup holders. On the floor, all other mats. Behind the front seat, slim pockets. In the center, there are a couple of cup holders, a 12 volt outlet, as well as a 110 volt outlet and rear climate control. Grab handles in the body to make it easier to get in. And up above, vents, hooks, lighting, and that dual moonroof. Passenger side cap was easy fuel gas filler, privacy glass, roof rails, heated and powered side view mirrors with blind spot information system, halogen headlights, and fog lights, and so many more reasons to visit us at Island Ford Superstore. BC's number one rated Ford dealer.